Redondo is known as the lifesaver. It's the panic button. When all else goes wrong and you've forgotten your training and the teachings of your master, then what you must do is resort back to bleh, the panic button, hit it. When the brakes fail, hit the emergency brakes. Do the gear down. You, you have something you do under an emergency condition. Code red. Well, that something in the knife world is the redondo. The whipping circular action that can be done teeny, it can be done gigantic against multiple adversaries, can be done with smaller big weapons. Redondo answers all lines of attack. It's a real butt saver if you know how to play it. You only need one move, and that one move would be your number eight rolling cut redondo. All right, so James, come on in. So all I'm saying is, is when he comes in to make his move, I'm just gonna parry. I can reach out and cut that anywhere in here. If I do parry in here or check, that's just going to roll if I was out here. If he came in, this could go slow if we come in here. So one on the hand, two on the face, catch, go from there. So it's very simple action. If he wants to like dart around a little bit, you know, like he's poking at me here, then I'm gonna snipe at that with these little ones, see? And just keep him away and then reach out once in a while. Reach out. What I like about it is if I reach out, he could cut my hand, couldn't he? Defang the snake. But I'm not just reaching out and doing this. I'm going down. So as I do this, he's gotta be careful because I'll shorten the arc. As he comes under to cut me, I'll shorten that arc and cut his fingers. So do this in a series. Get used to doing fakes and hopping out there. Okay. Stutter, that's what we want. So play with this, get your redondo down. The next rotor reaction is going to be here. A roof block or a cousin to the mighty redondo, the panic button. Redondo is done outside the frame here where roof is done where I'm in the frame, but it's still a giant rotary action just as the outside is. It's a circle, you see. So the two slantings, they're done high, high, low, and low, inside and outside gates. So when we do this, we'll start with the roof. One, two, three, Four. You're getting the idea now? Slowly turn. Good. On side line. This is known as the shield or bayon. You could do this without the checking hand. We just do it. And you wouldn't do this. This is a drill. This isn't for fighting. He might make a number one shot, and I just come in and do that. You have you say, but knife coach, we learned that out here on the outside. That's where you're supposed to do it. Let's do it again. Here we go. Okay, here. Spion. There. See? You say, we did this on the outside, but when you show us the application, you do it inside? Hell yeah, I can do it anywhere I want. It's the same for the roof. If we're doing the roof drill, now when he hits me, I don't have to wait. I just hit and run, it cuts his throat. It works just fine. So the roof drill can be done any which way you want to. So these are only for the drill do you do them certain ways so we both have a chance to practice. Otherwise, you're in charge of this game. You're not waiting for him to do something back. You're taking the hell over and using your rotary power to come in and do several cuts. If he attacks us, say here, and I go one here, I'm just gonna start this and go right from roof into two redondos. If he comes in on the other, I'll say, I got the cut here, first of all, and then bang, guess what? I'm back into my rotary cutting. So I'm going to come off of the shield and go right into my first rotary cut. This will be over in a second. It's not real pretty, it's not real sophisticated, but when you're really moving with rotary skills, and you have a really sharp knife, it's instant and it works like a charm. 
You just have to play it a little bit. All right, thank you, James. I'm going to get Andy in here. We're going to look at Sembrada. Sembrada is your five-part exercise. Check it out. If you haven't seen it, this is what it looks like. So one, two, three, four, five. Now it's, he feeds me. One, two, three, four, five. Where'd you see that? The last thing I did with James. See? So, what I want you to realize is that when we did this here, see this? This was isolating. When I and James did this, this was isolating the first move of Sombrata. When we did this, the outside, we were doing the last move of Sombrata. In the middle, when he pokes me in the guts and I do this, that's the same thing just down here. So, out of five moves that Sombrata is basically comprised of, three of them have rotational or rotary basis. Over half. So, you're using these all the time to quickly cut and return, quickly cut and return. You use that rotary basis to not only parry here, but to cut here. Or to cut and cut. Cut. That's why we learn these. So when you're practicing Sumbrata, recognize that, that how many rotary positions. And think about it. In Sumbrata, those of you that know it, and when he thrusts me and I come in here with this one, do I not go right into the number eight redondo? He meets my rotary strike with his rotary counter. Because if it wasn't, and he did something like that, that's a linear move. So there's a lot of rotations in this, and that's kind of what makes it tricky. So I want you to play with Sumbrata, because it's the box pattern where many of the universal movements come from. People say, well, it's a prearranged set. What good is that? It's good as a learning tool, because there isn't, I mean, as I've always pointed out to you, if Andy's coming in, I'm not going to do the tricky under the leg hand switch move. That shit doesn't happen. So what does happen? The universal lines that I'm teaching you. That's why these are the basis or foundation. From there, you can reach for the stars. Your knife fighting goals are now within your reach. So my job is to help you reach your goals. For me personally, I've already achieved many of my goals. I'm happy with what I have. You who are reaching out to achieve even higher, even better, I'm here to help. So, uh, what could we say? Take this to heart and practice your rotary movements because they're super fast, they come back on the other guy really well, and uh, they're part of your intermediate to advanced level of, of going from beginner to advanced. These are in the middle. So work with them a little bit, make yourself strong. Thank you, James. Thank you, Andy. And I'll see you on the next one. I'm your knife coach.